Hey everyone and welcome to Nugent Audio. My name is Amanda Ayala and I'm a singer-songwriter from New York. Today in this two-part series, we're going to be taking a deep dive look into Nugent's brand new plugins and I'll be showing you how I use them in my creative workflow. To give you guys a little backstory of my career, I was a contestant on NBC's The Voice and Who Will Rock You Season 2. I've had songs featured in Billboard Magazine, Music Connection, and New Music Weekly. But enough about me, let's get on with the plugins. So in today's episode, I'm going to be breaking down Nugent's handy plugin called Jotter. Jotter is designed to take notes, make comments on a session, and is typically used for collaborative work. So I'm going to pull up a demo that I have here where I want to take some notes and send them over to my producer who's going to be building up this track remotely. So, so we're going to go ahead, open up Jotter, and I'm going to go ahead and just play the audio on a first whims. As you can see, it's recording the waveforms instantly. You can see it's already recording the waveforms and preparing you to be able to like make notes on the go. So with that, I'm going to give it a listen uh, once again, and now I'm going to start adding my notes, my timestamp notes uh, and feedback for the mix. Here we go. See, let's start at the beginning. I already know in the beginning I'm going to want to make a change. So we're going to say change intro to the song at discretion. Oh. Right there. Fill in some dead space. Synth. Once all the notes have been taken, all the timestamps have been made. We're gonna go ahead and press export. We're gonna change the name, save as, I put jottings, mix revision, doing better. And then you can also change the destination and as simply as pressing export, it's exported and it goes to the destination you want. And I think that's the coolest thing about getting to do this is because it's such a time saver. You get exact timestamp to who you wanna send it to and they know exactly what you're talking about. Cause the amount of times I've sent a text message out talking about lowering a volume or changing a part and you get it back and it's the wrong thing that's been changed. So this just makes communication a lot easier and saves a lot of time instead of having to go back and forth with doing your producer. Okay, so now that I've exported that, just to make a note, once you've sent this to your peer of whoever you're working with this, if they don't own Jotter, it doesn't mean that they can't open these files. It's just they're saved as a CSV file and it's truly compatible for all. So if they don't even operate Jotter, they can just open the file up and they'll get all the notes and the timestamps of what you're looking to change. So I've been lucky enough, my producer was kind enough to send back revisions. So what I'm gonna show you guys here is I'm gonna be importing his notes, his revisions, and his new audio file for the demo that he sent over. Once again, open up Jotter. You're gonna press import. You're gonna browse it on your desktop or wherever you saved it to. Simply press import and boom. It's imported the new notes. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give these a listen and make sure it pinpoints all of his notes that he has for the mix revision. You can see right then and there, he said he changed the intro, which I think is so cool. I think, I think that's one of the coolest things about this plugin is that you could see in real time. While you might not be in the session with your producer, but you get to see in real time on your own DAW and operating system, their notes that they've made on the timestamped section of the song. So it's just clear, concise, and you know what they've done and then you know what they've checked off. So he, I saw that he changed the intro. I'm gonna go ahead and check that off. Too many people are talking. Can't even hear myself. The great thing about Jotter is it can be used in so many different ways, but I use it for my bandmates. We'll be sending over sessions back and forth changing things about our live show, backing tracks. And I think having this plugin in my arsenal has saved me from communication disasters and headaches. And it's made my workflow so much easier. So for Jotter, I am extremely grateful that this plugin exists. Thanks so much for watching episode one. If you guys wanna learn more about me and my music, you can stream on all streaming platforms or follow me on socials at Amanda Ayala Music. Make sure you stay tuned for part two where I show you guys AB Assist and Aligner, but I'll see you guys there.